Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we're actually getting ready to leave on a little weekend trip to Mexico. Um, one of my family members is getting married and so we're gonna go down over there and go to the wedding and see some family members and Nala is coming with me. So I thought that for today's video, uh, I would just kind of do a little what's in my bag um, video for traveling for the whole weekend. So, okay, so the backpack we like to use is this one. It is the Overland Dog Gear backpack and this is, I think, the Weekender one. I don't know, I think it is. But I really like it because it has like the poop bags things here and then you open this up and um, this is actually a food place yet. So I thought that was super cool. And it comes with two collapsible bowls. And then on the inside, it comes with food carriers that you'll see when I put them in, but it has a nice divider on the inside. It has a lot of space um, and I really like it. And it comes with this cute little dog bone name tag. I don't know, I think it's adorable. Um, yeah, let's get into what I'm putting in it. So the first thing, um, I mean, I'm not putting this in it, but I'm taking it. So her leash has a little poop bag thing and a carabiner and her vest. Um, the vest is from Zero Style Co on Instagram. Patches are from Beto's Closet on Instagram. And then I'm taking her blanket. This is usually her car blanket, but she settles on it pretty well. And I'll just fold it up and make it whatever size and she likes it. Okay, and then I'm taking, since she is still a puppy and we're not exactly sure, we're staying at an Airbnb for one day and you know, just to be safe, I am taking like one or two of like little pee pads just in case she really has to go to the bathroom and I can just take her into the bathroom. I don't know, just in case, you know. Um, the I know that the airports in Mexico don't have pet relief areas just because service dogs aren't common over there. So I hopefully won't use them and I probably won't, but just in case. Um, and then I've got her little wipes. <laughs> so these are baby powder scented from Hun Goods and they're really nice just to wipe up whatever mess she makes or if her paws get dirty. Um, so these are the food bags. Um, this is just one of them. I bought an extra two that are going in the suitcase that I already left because my parents left yesterday. Um, but this has a bunch of food. And then this one has some treats, some little dental chews, and other like more high value treats just so that she's calm. Um, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. I have this little lavender spray that is, I guess a calming spray and um the bottle itself was too big for a carry-on bag so i transferred it into like this little to go it smells like lavender it's supposed to be calming um but it smells really good so i'm taking that with me and then this is a little tree pouch i use it's magnetic it closes on its own it really doesn't spill at all um and it has a little clip on the bag and i like it because i don't have to like wear the whole belt um I'm taking her little favorite stuffies. So this is a lamb chop. This is, I think, just the regular size. It's got a little squeaker on the inside. And then this one she found in my room. Um, my boyfriend won it for me at a fair and she decided she was gonna keep it. <laughs> and then, okay, these are one of her favorite toys. So these are keys. Um, they look like a baby toy, but they're actually Nyla bones. And so they have different flavors um, and she loves to chew on them. They're, I think they're the cutest thing, but she is in a really big chewing stage because she has some teeth that are starting to come out. Um, so definitely this is a must have, she loves it. And okay, this is like half chewed up already, but just a little bone. It's not filled or anything, but she really likes eating the outside. Um, so just in case she needs to be distracted. I've got her Kongs. Um, I usually feed her on a slow feeder, but just because of space, I will not be able to take that with me most likely. So what I do if I don't have a slow feeder is I put her meals in Kongs. And I mean, it works out fine. She eats it pretty slow anyways. And then a little squeaky and her seatbelt. 
and then for when we're there and stuff um we are gonna have some time to play and i wanted to make sure that she stays active so i've got some balls and then some more nyla bones these are just like the puppy starter pack i don't know they were pretty cheap um she likes them and then um her favorite little tug chew fetch everything toy um this is actually really nice i'm surprised like she's bitten through a little bit of it but i'm surprised it's lasted as long as it has and then okay so we were at the airport training yesterday when i um dropped off my parents and she was slipping so much on the hardwood floor so i she has these socks and if you've seen the instagram um she is not a fan of socks she likes to bite them off but if she's slipping too much i might just try to put them on and see how it goes so they're little ballerina socks they're non-slip um so i'm just gonna throw that in there and see if it works out and then a hydro flask we're gonna it's empty right now but i'm gonna fill it up at the airport this is my hydro flask um, but so she has the collapsible bowls it can be for her water too and then last but not least so these are my passports um and so i actually got her a little pet passport it's not official or anything um but it just kind of makes it a little easier so it looks like this it's a regular size of passport um this is kind of yep it has her little paw on it and then in here there's just like pet information owner information and then vaccine records and i've got her health certificate from our vet right here so i'm going to be taking both of those things with me um and then obviously the puppy and i'm probably just going to throw in a few extra things for me just because i don't think i'm going to take another carry-on um just some meds and my heart rate monitor and probably my laptop and a charger um but yeah i wasn't exactly sure Oh yeah, so I was waiting. Oh, I'm also bringing her bandana, but that's upstairs in the dryer, so I need to go get that. Um, I was waiting to get a little travel mat um, so that I could take with me, but unfortunately it comes tomorrow and I'm leaving tonight, so that's okay. Um, we're gonna be traveling a lot in the future anyway, so we'll just use it then. But yeah, I think um, that's about it. I'm really hoping I'm not missing anything. If I am, I'll probably just link it in the comments. Um, <laughs> Nala just got scared because my hydro flask fell. Whoops. Uh, I think that's it. I am thinking it'll go pretty smoothly. She settles pretty well in public and our flight is a red eye, so it's gonna be all night and she doesn't wake up or anything. So I think it'll be fine. Um, but I'm definitely thinking of filming a little vlog while we're in Mexico and what it was like traveling with her. So that'll come up in a couple of days probably. Um, yeah, and then Nala has gotten bigger since the last video. So I'm gonna just go get her out of her crate and bring her up. Look at her. Look at this little baby. Here's Nala. She's a lot bigger. She's getting strong. She's doing really good with training. <laughs> She's kind of tired already. All right, say bye, Nola. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you want to see the upcoming Mexico vlog, just make sure to subscribe. And then we are thinking of being a little more active School was kind of rough in the beginning, um, so I haven't had as much time, but it's starting to settle down. So that is good. So like this video, subscribe. I'll tag her Instagram, I'll tag mine. Um, her Instagram has a lot of posts actually, just about how she's doing, her little gear, all this cute stuff. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Say bye, Nola. Bye. <laughs>